Okay, so let's talk about making your first cacao. So you want to start getting familiar with the cacao before you try a ceremonial dose, which we speak about in another video. So I've got my cacao here. You might like to just get a tiny bit out and nibble it, to smell it, to get familiar with the cacao. And then to make your first hot chocolate, what's considered normal is a 28 gram dose. So I got my scales out and I checked, and for me, that's working out about two heaped tablespoons of cacao. So what I suggest for your first one, whilst you're getting familiar, is to use one heaped tablespoon, which would be about 14 or 15 grams. So something like that into a mug that you really, really like. We're also going to mix in a little bit of, this is very, very bitter, the cacao, which is one of the reasons it's great for the heart, but a little bit of natural maple syrup, if you like that, or another type of sweetener. I'm going to pop in a touch of um, cinnamon, as that works really, really well with cacao, and so does cayenne pepper. So if you do like a little bit of spice, you can put a little bit of cayenne pepper in there as well. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of cayenne pepper. And then I've got hot, but not boiling water. So that is then going to go into the mug. To get the best results now, you need to mix this in a high speed blender. So something like um, a Vitamix um, or another high speed blender like that. If you haven't got that, you could use an electric whisk. And if you haven't got that, then do it um, on the stove on a, in a pan with a normal whisk and just keep whisking it until it's mixed but you really will get the best results in the high speed blender so I'm going to mix it now I'm going to show you what it looks like okay so my cacao is ready it's just come out of the blender I'm going to walk it around so you can see it this is what the cacao is looking like so that was one heaped tablespoon of cacao about 14 or 15 grams some uh, very warm water a touch of maple syrup, a pinch of cayenne pe pepper, some cinnamon, and you could add some uh, vanilla if you've got some in there as well, that would be really good.